everyone! Today I've got your mother movie review. A couple's relationship is tested when uninvited guests arrive at their home, disrupting their tranquil existence. What are they gonna do now? So as far as the story goes, Darren Aronofsky directs this film where I can't tell if it's supposed to be a thriller or a horror or romance or something where a husband and wife live in a seemingly secluded house out in the middle of nowhere where one of them is having writer's block and the other wants to finish renovating the house uh, to eventually build their family and then they would feel complete. Already I was yelling at the screen so it must mean that I wasn't feeling completely sold on what the premise was. Not that I completely understood everything that was going on. I was really hoping that this movie would be good and quite all the naysayers that said that this movie sucked. But I guess I learned my lesson there. Once guests start to arrive it makes this peaceful and calm environment just turn into all-out chaos and that is when things start to hit the, fa hit the fan. Uh, there are these other random people who show up who act like they belong there. And I'm thinking, um, hello, get out of our house. Oh, it was so annoying. As far as the casting goes, you've got Jennifer Lawrence, who I feel like does a lot of facial acting in this movie, and she was just okay with her performance, even if uh, maybe she had to deal with some bad writing here and there, and her character has to put up a lot with all of these people just coming into her house, and I really sympathized with her character. Uh, when everyone is just taking advantage of her left and right, nobody seems to be helping her out or even considering giving her some personal space. I mean, boundaries, people, come on. It's like the one thing that you need to do to respect a woman in her condition, which you will find out later what ends up happening to her, hence why the movie is called Mother. You've got Javier Bardem, who I feel like I was quite disappointed with his character considering he's also supposed to play the husband who I guess uh, was working on uh, this poetry or some kind of book and everybody seems to be all for it and he just turning into a selfish a-hole. Like if you really wanted to have a family with J-Law, I'd say that ship sailed a long time ago. The first two guests that arrive in the house, uh, you've got Ed Harris, who I feel like it, he has one of the worst performances in this movie. It was just weird. It was odd why he was like behaving in certain ways. And you've got his wife, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, who I really wanted to punch her character in the face and kick her out of the house since day one because she just was so pushy and bossy and she like acted like nothing was wrong, but uh, everything was wrong about the cast in this movie and what the F was with that Kristen Wiig cameo. The things that I liked about this movie was that at times when it started to get freaky it felt like previous Darren Aronofsky films that I have seen like Black Swan. I could definitely see his style uh, throughout this film in that aspect but unfortunately the things that I didn't really like about this movie was that this is not necessarily a movie that I completely understood, like I said, uh, what was even going on. Like a half an hour into the movie, I'm starting to get mad at what I'm seeing. Uh, it's just really frustrating. And not only that, you see this like all over the place cinematography uh, along with some weird special effects. and. The beginning was really boring, so that's why it didn't quite suck me in at first. Oh my god, I hate this movie! The third act made me want to jump up and down and scream. Well, that escalated quickly. Like, what is this crap? And it really went into a whole other level of crazy that I was not expecting to see, and it just pissed me off so much about everything that was going on that clearly could not be stopped or not be controlled. I could not believe uh, 
how everyone was acting uh, and behaving and everything that had quickly transpired in the manner that it did. It was like watching Project X. Oh my god, I can't even right now. So overall, I would say that Mother was probably one of my most disappointing films of 2017. I'm pretty sure you're gonna see this on my worst list of the year and I was really disappointed because I wanted it to be good but I guess you can't win them all. So I can't see myself recommending this to anyone. It's just a waste of time and uh, it's just too weird for words. So I would give this one heart on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Mother, and as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Chill Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys later.